Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome to another PyQD5 tutorial video. My name is Jay. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a very simple combo box application using the PyQD5 library in Python. So right here is the application that we'll be creating in this exercise. So right here, I have a, a, a PyQD application. And inside this window, I have a combo box with a couple of companies names, such as Google, Facebook, Microsoft, Apple, and Uber. And the takeaway in this exercise is we want to learn when you select an item from this uh, combo box or drop down. If I choose Microsoft and I click on click, and that's going to give me the, uh, the current index value as well as the current index number. Now we know what we're going to build, so let's get started. So first, we're going to import the libraries. So I'm going to import the system library and from the PyQD5 module, the QT, uh, the QT widgets module. I'm going to import the, oops, Q application, Q widget, Q combo box, and the push button. And I'm going to create a class named combo box demo. So this is going to be our application class. I'm going to pass the Q widget uh, class as the parent class. All right now that's the so that's basically the body of your uh, combo box application. Now we need to create an application instance so we can uh, launch the application. And I'll construct my combo box demo instance. And I'll name the, uh, the uh, instance as demo. Now if I just save and run the script. And so here I have a typo. So I forgot the I. All right, now this is our, uh, our window. So we have the window. Now we need to ins insert in the, the widget. So I'm going to create my combo box first. So I'll name the uh, object self combo box. This equals to Q combo box. And I'll resize the combo box as well. So I'm going to use the method set geometry. And so that way I can control the position as well as the size. So for the position, I'll set that to 50 and 50. And for the size, I'll set that to 400 and uh, 35. And here I forgot to uh, provide the self-reference to link to the parent app, to the parent uh, class. Okay, and that's for the uh, combo box. And we also need to add our company names to the combo box. So let's do this. So here I'm going to create a list. So I'll name the list, list uh, company. And I'll manually type each company's name. So uh, Google, Facebook, Microsoft, and Apple. And actually, and there's one more, so Uber. And that should be it. So five companies for our combo box. And to add the list to our combo box, what we want to do is we want to take the combo box object. We want to use the add items uh, method. So just noticing that it's going to be pro. If you want to add an item one at a time, so you want to do combo box dot add item and followed by uh, the item's name. But since we want to uh, ease the process by providing a list object, so we're going to use add items. And we'll provide the list object, list company. Next, we want to insert a push button. So I'll just name, uh, so I'll name the push button self.btn. And I'll uh, give a caption, clip, and to uh, link the, the push button to our uh, parents uh, class. So we need to provide the self reference. And again, so I'm going to uh, use the set geometry to set the position and uh, the size. So for the position, I'm going to set it to 170 and 120. 
and for the size i'll set the size to 120 and uh, 35 as well it should not as well uh, 35. so it should me um delete that so let me save and run the script and see what we have so far so self is not defined Oh, so here I made a typo. It should be self. And self. Oh, and this one too. So make sure uh, recording this tutorial at a hostel I know. Uh, I'm actually taking one year off just to go trouble. But I will I will still, you know, continue to make tutorials. So right here is our, uh, so our application. So right here we have the, the drop down menu which is our combo box widget and inside the combo box widget we have our company's name so google facebook microsoft apple and uber and we have our push button so we choose this right here click and right now we haven't uh, connect the, the button to any function yet so that's why when you click the the push button uh, nothing's happening so there are uh, quite a few uh, signals that we can connect to the the button widget but the most commonly used one is the click signal. So it's going to be self dot button that click that connect. And we're going to pass a function to the uh, connect method. Now let's go ahead and create a function. So the function is going to be used uh, to extract the combo box value as well as the, the index. So we can name this function basically anything we want. So I'll name this function get combo value and self so what i want to do is i want to print a tuple and with the company's name so which is going to be uh, combo box the current text so this so this statement right here is going to extract the current select uh, combo box value and next i also want to get the current uh, combo box item index so to get the index value so i'm going to use current index method and that's it so we have the function created so we can just take this function and pass that to the click.connect uh, method and that's it so if i run the python script now and here oh so i forgot the self And if I run the Python script, and here's our application. So if I choose, uh, let's, let's choose Microsoft. And if I click on click, and that's going to give me a tuple with the uh, current select value, which is Microsoft in the current select uh, index. So we choose two. So Microsoft is the third item for my uh, drop down list. So it's, Google is going to be zero. Facebook is going to be one and Microsoft is going to be two. So this is everything I'm going to cover in this video. And hopefully you guys found the video useful. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.